So what is the molar mass of phosphorus? So again, take a moment to think about this. I'm going to switch to the periodic table to help you out. What is the molar mass of phosphorus? So, as you can see, uh, phosphorus here belongs in our in the non-metal section. So this is the right side of our periodic, periodic table here. And with the with it being on the right side, um, what it can do is uh, so this is here is phosphorus. So P here is has an atomic mass of thirty point nine seven four, right? So thirty point nine seven seven four. So P here thirty point. 30.974 grams per mole. And in this case, we, uh, so phosphorus is a, is, is kind of a, um, a different, uh, it's kind of a unique atom because what we have here is phosphorus can actually form a, uh, a, uh, it forms kind of like a, uh, um, it forms kind of like a tetrahedral with itself. So in order for like a tetrahedral kind of compound, um, so, or it forms kind of like a like a pyramid, you can say. Like you can, ha it has some sort of. Um, I'll try to draw it out here. It has like a trig, like a triangle kind of base here. And then it also has this extends to a P, like so. So it's kind of like a tr like a like a like a like a, like a, like a pyramid, um, in this case here. Uh, and and this and in, in this case, phosphorus here has four atoms, right? And this is it's a bit harder for you to know because in this case, um, in grade in the scope of grade eleven, you're not expected to know this geometry here. However, the scope of like a uh, university or like a grade twelve chemistry course, you would be able to expect that that phosphorus makes kind of a, this pyramid shape here. So, given that we know that already, let's assume we know that uh, phosphorus here has one, two, three, and four. It has four phosphorus atoms, which means this is here is P. Right, P four, or you can say it's tetraphosphorus. Right, tetraphosphorus. Here is our chemical formula for phosphorus. And this here, if I want to figure out the molar mass, it's simply just four times our molar mass of phosphorus. Right, nine seven four. Therefore, this equals four times whatever that is. So again, four times thirty point nine seven four, and this here equals one hundred and twenty three point eight nine. One hundred twenty three point. I think it's nine zero actually. Nine zero grams. Per mole, and this here is the solution here. So again, they did the exact same thing here. As there are four phosphorus atoms per molecule, the atomic mass of phosphorus is thirty point nine seven. That's good, and then they simply just multiply by four. So this in this case, it's uh, the solution is uh, this question is a bit harder because it's like what is the molar mass of phosphorus? We don't know what um, is it just asking us if it's P or if it's P four. Like we don't really know uh, what the uh, chemical formula is. So in this case, I would say uh, solution is correct, but question is, is is misleading, right? So it's misleading because our, we are not sure if the question is asking for one phosphorus atom or, or you can say tetra or tetra phosphorus phosphorus p4 if it, in that case then the solution will or the molar mass changes molar mass changes so so the solution i'll say, I'll say for for this case a uh, solution is correct but again we're not sure if it's asking for phosphorus or tetraphosphorus but i'm going to say that here the solution is correct